Monday night, 5-3-4-0. The old wall bash. Been bashed around a little bit. Just got done wiping it down best I could. Got the rims looking a little better. The tires dressed. backwards mud flap that's actually put on backwards that's supposed to be over where the rocks hit it and damp it down the smooth is supposed to be on the back now you got a nice little corner light here and then over here I don't see a corner light looks like there's supposed to be so I have to find the corner light and get that installed Everything else looks good. I gotta go to Mont Montawa, Iowa. This is a weird. But I tied everything down. They moved, the freight was moved all back. Let's all John Deere parts go in there. It's all different stuff, it looks like. Let's go into a plant where they make. <laughs> John Deere tractors. So I'm gonna go over there. They open in the morning. I'm gonna make sure I get my 10 hours so I'll wake up over there. Looks like this one here has been removed. Oops. It's like the utility days, there's only one on one side. Nice little handle for you to get up there. Uh, that's it. We'll see how this week's going to be. It's about a five and a half hour drive down there. Got a lot of patch jobs here. They really put some bolts into this one. I don't know what that's about. I replaced these rivets. Big bolts. Uh, that's alright. Hope everybody had a good weekend. As we get out of here before the traffic starts kicking in. Well, it still looks pretty good after the rain. The tornado warnings. And one touchdown by Watertown. It's about 20 miles away from here. That was good old Saturday night. But it all blew over, so I'll sneak underneath the next front. Alright. Alright, Tanawa. Or some kind of Indian name. Just south of Autonomo Walk. It's another Indian name here. But they're taking some totes off here. You see they have these ramps. That all chopped up. Everything's good. Once I get the green light, I gotta go to another dock and unload the rest. So that should do it. Skip through the rain, sprinkled a little bit. But it's Monday. problem with this door. These magnets here get really rusty. You really want to check and make sure that this part here is all steel wool down. Make sure there's no rust. This one here is so bad that it's corroding that it's lifting up. The magnet's actually lifting up so bad that when you shut it, it's not really sticking. This one here is the only one holding. So on windy days like this, so you get done, it'll flap over. So the main thing is getting an Allen wrench. And unscrew it. Once you unscrew it loose enough, this the nut itself is embedded in here and you can take it off. Once you take it off, you can see how corroded this is. It gets all rusted. This is actually bent. But these are the new magnets. You can go to Amazon and buy this. This kit here for $35. Comes with new magnets. 
and the little washers too. And you gotta make sure that the rubber is doing good. I had that problem with truck 40 too, I replaced them. It's all about putting the two magnets, separate them and put them in each one. When it comes to this, and reverse steps. Make sure you put the washers on there. So you can see the difference from the old one. How it buckled, it really rusted everything up and lifted up. It's not even flat on the top. Compared to the new one. Well, that's all set now. But now I have to polish this, this whole plate now because it came down and started rubbing on this pad. But it flipped down. I had some problems with that windy days. But now it's it's holding because that both are working pretty good now. But yeah, if you go to Amazon.com and and order the the battery door uh uh, magnets battery door cover magnets and uh, they'll have it for you it's about $35 but that's that has to be replaced but it's only a couple years old but you can see the problem they're having is how these uh, are getting really rusted out or it's just not even workable gets so corroded these magnets how it just bulges out and then it's actually bent too versus what it's supposed to look like flat but it looks like all the Cascadias have had that problem even the older style had problems you just have to go and replace them every couple years unless you live in California or Florida other than that, I'm here for 10 hours. I did a drop and hook at Ashkalusa, that, that uh, waste management place. 53516 is this trailer. It's a utility. Got skirts on the side. It's been scratched up. And I'm over here by Cedar Rapids. I gotta dress these tires. Looks like somebody put a cap here. That's a little different. I wonder why they did that. You need if all of them were there, but I don't think that looks really good to have a cap dangling in there. Huh. But yeah, tires need to be dressed. They'll look a lot better. It's probably a really nice trailer. You can see the, the beer back. Full skirts. Sure there's no caps on this side. But yeah, I gotta dress these tires. I'll leave here about 1.30 in the morning. I get to uh, ND Papers. Get there at 5. They want me there at 5. So I'll quickly dress those tires. Some rest. Let's see how Tuesday is. It looks like this state trooper got this guy overweight. You got a pickup truck, you gotta watch out. If your license plates don't match with the weight you pull, then you'll get a state trooper on you. And then you're stuck, they gotta take the weight off of it. That's why you gotta really do your work and make sure you're legal all the time. It's just part of being a good driver, a professional driver. Back at ND Papers. Got the lock all set up. Alright. It's all about getting this weight off. And if you ever have problems sliding these axles, and these are with the this kind of uh, air socks that you pull the lever. If you have a problem with it, you pull your trailer brakes, you release them, and then you uh, pull the, this valve out and put a vice grip on it. Then you push in the trailer brakes, you apply them, 
And then you use the Johnny Bar, the, tra uh, the trailer brake level. And that will be more pressure on the, the brake um, pads itself. And it'll lock up. Many of them are adjusted right. They have automatic adjusters. And they slide, especially when you're, you got a lot of weight. You're trying to slide your axles and the wheels are moving. So you go ahead and do it that way. Just like the old days with the manual bar, you use your trailer brake lever. We call it a Johnny bar. Well, that's the right way to go. Many people start using chocks and all that, which I do have chocks. I put mine right here. But that's, that's the easiest way to do that is a vice grip on that valve. When you push in the trailer brakes, you'll see that um, that valve would go back in. So you need a vice grip to keep it out. Other than that, go into the yard, drop and hook, and go back to Iowa. All right, back at the yard. Done with 53516 and picking up 53054. Looks like a wall bash. I bashed around a little bit. Just got done wiping everything down. It was pretty dirty. Even the inside, it's half loaded, so I blew out the rest of the paper. But I got the tires all dressed and the rims are all done. So it looks a lot better going down the road. Looking brand new. DOT, so pass me by. They won't have any problems with this one. It'll look like a new trailer. But you'll see. See, it blow everything out, as you can see. <laughs> Just full of paper. But I want to make it look good when I deliver. It's a half a load. But it's all about going to Urbandale. That's the west side of Des Moines. Des Moines, Iowa. About five and a half hours. I got four and a half hours on my log, so. I'll just go ahead and go all the way by Des Moines, then eight o'clock in the morning. It looks like somebody hit this pretty good. Don't look good at all gash on the side it's not bulging out so we'll see how much it holds another thing I noticed I don't know if I should cut it off or pull it out but it looks like I got a nail right here let's see what's going on here so I gotta figure out if I should pull it out or just trim it I want to commit myself. That's a headache about that. Somebody hitting the sidewall or something, poking the side with some nail. All right, let's go to Urbandale. All right, I started messing with that nail, trying to cut it off, and the air was leaking out of it. Pushing it in didn't work. Air leaked out more. So went ahead and plugged it. As it looks like all plugged up. And I just put dressing on it so once the dress, dressing dries, it'll, it'll match. But I had to wipe it all down, especially with the rubber cement. But that should be alright now. I'm not supposed to do the sidewalls, but it's the best I could do with that little nail. Another thing I had to do was put these plugs in the maxis. All four of them were dangling. I'm gonna reach in here and get them all. But that's what I was supposed to do. But that was bubbling pretty good. Got 100 pounds in it. So I didn't want to lose any more air. The main thing about it is it doesn't have these uh, lines that the air goes into the system. So you gotta check these tires. This is the only headache I got is this damage. This sidewall chunk missing. That's a $300 tire. Well, it's all about checking all the tires, make sure they're 100 pounds, keep an eyeball on it. 
yeah, those hoses that are hooked up to those and the, it's all regulated where you'll keep your tires filled up is not on this trailer, so this trailer is an older one. And you'll have a white light on the side here when it's low. But, okay, that's my chore. Might as well get out of here. Alright, I'm in Urbandale. Mitchera is the name of this place. Mitchera. I don't know what they make here. That should be alright. Well, let's see how this plug is holding. Stay put. That's the way it looks when you get the rims done and tires dress. Almost looks like a new trailer. But let's see how my backhaul would be. Might be something simple, but this is on the west side of Des Moines, Iowa, Wednesday morning. Sounds like a train. All the graffiti on this side. <laughs> Iowa Interstate. But the graffiti says something. Still trying to figure out what it really says. It's not English, it's not Spanish. But somebody's saying something when you see all that on the side. Especially when you need ladders to get up to the top of them. Alright, back at the yard, really the warehouse here in Mayville. 53520. Looks like I'm going to Warren, Ohio again with more cardboard. Let's try this utility. Looks like there's some damage here. It's not good. Just dress the tires, got aluminum rims, wipe them down. But got the back all chrome, a little dirty. Looks like it got bent up up here. It's all about hitting the, well, it's probably locked on this side and then they hit the door and it wrinkled. But I went from Des Moines Urbandale and went to um, Oskaloosa to that waste management. Picked up a trailer and dropped it off at the yard. And look at this stuff. Let's see, Looks like this clamp here is not working. It'll be moving around. It's all cracked. But I have to move that. I have to put another plate on it, and I have to cross it and pinch it. We'll see how long the, this here looks like it's shredding. That's not good. Well, it's holding on the, those brackets, those angle brackets. <laughs> Damn, somebody really hit this one. Alright, well. Eight hours, I'll be over eight and a half. I'll be over there, but I only got two hours left on my log, so I'll find a truck stop right before Chicago and probably leave about four in the morning. Then I'll be in Ohio. I'm back in Warren, Ohio. Sun hooked, trailer's over there. It's waiting for the yard truck to hook up and back to the loading dock. Guess they don't trust us drivers. We'll see what back haul it is. It's Thursday. Hope I don't get stuck here till tomorrow, but if I do, then either way I'll try to get back Friday night. But other than that, it's very up in the way. It's about one o'clock in the afternoon.
Almost the end of the month. Middle of summer. Ready to pay rent. Back in Mayville, from Warren, Ohio. I went to Cincinnati and did a drop and hook. Same place downtown. 53055 is what I picked up. Same cardboard. I'm at the warehouse. Went through some rain. All I did was uh, get all the bugs off and really rinsed it up. But other than that, this morning I went ahead and Dress the tires and make everything look nice. These rims are looking pretty good. It's all about dropping this off and going back to the yard and drop off the tractor. I gotta go over by Indianapolis on Monday at 9 a.m. So I'll probably leave Sunday night early. I mean, yeah, Sunday night about 11, I figure. That rims should be... Uh, like looking like the others but they put an old one in other than that yeah I rinsed the truck off once I dress the tires I'll get all the chrome done it's pretty good a lot of bugs but it's summer Uh, the bubble look that looks all right yeah that's the right look back to the bubble look all right drop this off and go to the yard and it's Saturday let's do a 36 and get back on the road I'll be uh, hauling a refrigerator when it comes to delivering for Monday well, back at the tractor area by the yard. That's it for the week. A little different. But it's alright. Looking good. Nice and clean. Ready for another week. I just quickly wiped it down this morning after the rain. That was all in Illinois. But, it's all about going home and take a 36 hour. 
It's about, oh, it shows 11.19. So at 9.19 at night, because you got 24 plus 10. So I can leave. It's about six hours down there to Indianapolis. It's actually uh, southwest of Indianapolis. I think it's Middletown is the name of that place. Got to be there at 9 plus Eastern time zone. They have overnight parking. I'll go ahead and go down there. I got to refrigerate it. I got to do. So I hope everybody had a good week. And I hope everybody's having a good weekend. I'll talk to you all Sunday night.